anyway, like I was saying, I had a lot of company. My mom always said, you got to put the past behind you before you can move on. And I think that's what my running was all about. Okay, we have made it to Monument Valley. Right now, we are at the View Cabins here um, in Monument Valley, overlooking uh, the beautiful, magnificent natural formations. Let's take a look. Okay, there's the row. And then we are here, number 18. They continue around this way. Let's go in. Hello. Hello. Hi, I'm here to do a room tour. Yes, come on in. It's cute as can be. Look at that. Oh, lovely. Look at how cozy and cute. There is the bed. And then they have, of course, the gigantic window because of the view. Then we have a nice little side table. You have your microwave, fridge, coffee station. They have, of course, heat, AC, and they have a really... So this is, is for four people because they have the, the double. This is a double bed. And then in here, look at these. Cute. Cute bunk beds. This is a really, I mean, micro, microscopic space. You can take the ladder. Um, here's a bigger picture. And then right over here, of course, the standard restroom. And then they have the sink, um, hair dryer towels over here. So this is definitely, this is a tiny house that they have converted, or not converted, it's a tiny house that they put on the edge of Monument Valley. So you can see this beautiful view. It's absolutely stunning. Look at that. And we're right on the end as far as cabins cabins go. We're on one of the end cabins. So that's our view. The costs for the view, hotel, and cabins vary depending on what time of year you arrive. We stayed on a weeknight in November, which is considered off-season. And our premium view cabin in the front row ran us $139 plus tax. And then additionally, there is the Monument Valley Tribal Park entry fee, which is $8 per per, per person. The uh, hotels run a little bit more. I checked the hotel prices uh, for November, and they were running uh, around one ninety nine. The uh, breakfast breakfast is complimentary, as well as the Wi Fi. There is no alcohol for sale at the Trading Post or served in the restaurant. So if you want to enjoy a glass of wine on your patio uh, while you're watching sunset, be sure to bring your own. Look at this. This is incredible. There's the inside of the dining room. What we're going to do next is go on the 17 miles loop to see all the famous structures. Okay. Most coveted photos from this point. Ansel Adams, Kendrick James, two local Navajo phot photographers, Tom Phillips and R.S. Ortega, each have used this point as a source for inspiration. Understandably so.
This is Elephant Butte. And according to the information, it says, imagine a gigantic elephant facing west of the Southwest Desert. But the sun is quite bright. And this is the Three Sisters. So you are, you are looking at a Catholic nun facing her two pupils. Here is a better, better shot of the Three Sisters from the official viewpoint. Are you guys the greeters today? Who is so cute? You are. And I have dog cookies. You do? Yeah. She has dog cookies and I didn't even know. She has dog cookies. Here's some bread. Okay. You guys want, you want to probably, you want a cookie is what you want. <laughs> Here we are. This is very close to John Ford's Point, and you can have your picture taken on a horse at John Ford's Point. So yes, this is the um, this is the little stable by John Ford's Point. And so the fellow that got here before us, he said that he called the phone number, and they said about thirty minute wait. And so we are going to decide what to do but it sure would be fun. Okay, so here you go. Hello, if you would like more horse tour information, you can call or you can go to the beige octagon behind the stable. The beige octagon behind the stable. Come to the gray octagon south. Oh, there it is. So that's somebody's home. Hi, buddy. What's happening, buddy? Are you being a good boy? Huh? Are you being a good boy? Yes. You guys got a good view here. That's for sure. Okay, here we are at Camel. Look at that. That's incredible. Three sisters again. And now... We have arrived. This is the hub, which of course the sun makes it a little hard to see. Here's another angle of the hub. And then we do have a ranch over here. Can you even imagine? Look at the stunning location of this ranch. Nestled into the rock. One of these, I think this is the totem pole, or that might be the totem pole. This area is called Sands Spring. absolutely silent. There are no other people here. It's a sky. 
fly, butte.